What's up guys, today I'm going to be doing some photo editing and showing you this new software that I'm using called Luminar 4. So this is pretty much like Adobe Lightroom or Photoshop, but it's so much better for photographers, especially if you don't have much experience in Photoshop or Lightroom. This just does everything for you and makes it look really good at the same time, like really easily. So I'm gonna start from the beginning and show you how quickly I got from this image to this one um, using this software. So I'm gonna go up here to the add image. I want to edit a single image. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to the AI enhance, and this will just fix the exposure and colors for me automatically. Now let's go to the creative section on this um, software and go to the AI sky replacement. And then I'm gonna to go to sky selection and it has all of these built-in presets, but you can also load a custom sky image. So it's not limited to just the presets, which is really good. This photo was at sunset, so I'm gonna go down to, let's use sunset free. And you can see it just cuts around all of my buildings and just adds in the sky just perfectly, like with one click, which is, is really impressive. So even in the really small gaps over here, it's done such a good job. So what it also does is relights the scene. And this is something that's really hard when replacing the sky. It does such a good job of doing that with just this slider here. Okay, and then another feature that I really like about this is that it has a custom LUT option or it links to Adobe Lightroom. So you can keep your own style or if you have LUTs and presets that you really like, you can just add those on super easy. And then to finish the photo off, what I'm going to do is go to this uh, dramatic tab. And this is basically like clarity in Lightroom if you've ever used Lightroom before, but it's just gonna sharpen up and add some nice contrast to the photo. Another effect I really like in this uh, software is mystical. And it gives it that really nice, like soft glow look. And this just does it so nicely. It adds glow around the buildings, uh, in the distance, such a nice look and now i want to add in some birds just over here so it's really easy to do just go to ai augmented sky go to object selection and then there's a bunch of presets you can also load in your own custom image and just resize this and add them in that nice little gap right there and then you can also relight these so it matches the photo, which is also really hard to do if you're doing this in Photoshop and stuff. Like adding images is easy, but relighting them and making them look like they belong in the photo is so hard to do. But it's just so easy on this software that it makes like photo editing so much funner. And um, what else? Oh yeah, the sun rays. Sun rays is really cool as well. You place the sun center and then you turn up the amount it basically creates these sun rays, which goes through the gaps in the buildings. If I put it behind there, it acts like a sun and it just creates these really nice sun rays. But for this photo, I probably don't want all of these sun rays to be honest, it's, it's becoming a bit much now. And yeah, there we go, there's a little before and after. Sometimes when you take photos, you imagine this crazy picture in your head but realistically it doesn't always turn out you don't have the conditions and the photo doesn't turn out how you wanted it to but with this software it's just so easy to create that image that you had in your head that you really wanted to get so yeah if you want to check out this software then i'll leave the link down below it's not a sponsored video but if you do purchase this software through my link then it will help me out and support the channel i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i'll see you in the next video